like everything is happening in a, in a thick environment. I expect from people to identify with the characters as individuals, huh? not to identify with the, with the cause. Um, we are not talking about the cause, we are not talking about uh, uh, the, the big slogans of, of Palestine. This film talks about one woman that wanted to live, it's very simple. It's a story of a person who lives in Gaza who wanna, you know, dream of a life. And it's an absurd situation, it's insane, it's crazy, but you see in that movie what you don't see in the five minutes news report, you know, in the in the in the five minutes when you see like uh, five people is killed, uh, got killed, two people died yesterday, ten people uh, died uh, this morning. Well, there are a big number of people have died because of lack or to go to a proper health facility. Each number of these has a big story. Each number of these are uh, have 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 a family, have have a, a love, have a story, and we want to people to you know stop looking at the numbers. You know, our problem now is that uh, the world looks at Palestinians as numbers. Uh, I wouldn't actually work in that movie at all, or accepted working on that project if I wasn't emotionally attached to the story and the woman. And uh, like I told you, I have animated dreams. I actually do believe that this 3D character exists, you know, and I fall in love with her. If I don't feel that, I will be lying actually, making a movie for the audience to watch it and to really feel it. This woman who has, uh, who has noticed a lump in her breast, uh, and she starts looking around for doctors and doctors were uh, joking at her at the beginning. We are here to say that, you know, we see something that is not right and this is it, very clearly, very uh, honestly and that's how we see things. We think that we should talk about this and that's very important for us. Uh, to be silent is, is not good because you're doing nothing. Well, to be a filmmaker in Palestine is, uh, has many, many layers of difficulties. We started production in November 2007, like working on the idea and the script, and we finished in February 2009. It, if there was at least Five, another four animators, like five animators, models working in that film that maybe could have finished in maybe five months, maybe less. All of our productions, we have to seek help from outside. And this is a problem. You want to speak to your own people, to your own audience, to your own, and touch things with them and speak to them about common problems, common issues between you and them. This thing is, a lit is not present in Palestine. Films in Palestine are mainly made for foreign broadcasters. For me, animation is that goes beyond obsession. I don't know the word, but it must. if there's a word more than obsession, that's the one. For me, with animation. I learned, started learning by myself because there wasn't like any possibility to study it here. I would advise maybe to read a lot, to watch movies a lot. Not just, and uh, don't watch TV at all. It's bad, it's just for fun, you know, it's... Uh... This screening in, in the 1st of July is kind of a celebration. It, and after that we are going to international festivals, film festivals, to, uh, to show the film. And after that we are going back to make a tour in Palestine. Well, we, we, would, love, we would love to have it in Jerusalem, but it's a little bit complicated now. It's, uh, and Ramallah, because most of the crew and the cast and uh, the people who worked in the, in the film are from Ramallah and around Ramallah. Uh, many of them are Gazans who are living in Ramallah. You know, films will never change the world. I mean, one film is not going to change 
uh, the situation. One film is not going to make things better. Huh? But we hope for the best. This is our tools. You know, politicians, they have their own tools. Fighters, they have their own tools. We, are, we have this tool, the, the filmmaking, the storytelling. And with this tool, we are trying to do our best. If this film can affect even one person, then we're good.